Hello guys, today I'm going to be troubleshooting interfaces with this Cisco troubleshooting serial interfaces lab. The lab is 3.1.2.7. So I'm going to go get, get right into it now. So I've got to examine the addressing table to determine the location of the VCE interfaces. Well, all the DC interfaces should be on the telco router connecting to the other ones. Each serial connection has a DCE and DTE connection. To determine if telco interface is using the correct end of the cable, look on the third line of output following the show controller's command. Okay. So let me just have a look at these interfaces. Start with serial zero zero. Uh, so that's using DCE, and we can see that there okay so we'll move on to zero zero one that's using DC with a different clock rate so I'll just write these down as we go along so zero 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 add a clock rate of two hundred thousand I think it was zero one as 400,000 uh, and that's a DCE as well so that's DCE DCE ok so we'll move on Create four thousand zero one zero DC and zero one one. That's a DTE. So that should be DC. So that one's wrong. So that was serial zero one one. That's a DTE. So we know that that interface is wrong. Uh, reversing the cables that are incorrectly connected. Okay, so we'll do that now. So it was twenty nine. So it's this last last one. Twenty one, twenty five, twenty nine. That's right. So we'll get rid of that, and we shall replace it now. DC on this side. To what part was it connected to? Thirty is zero zero one. There we go. So if we do a show controllers again, it's now a DCE. Okay, so we've corrected that. We'll just keep an eye on them clock rates for now. <laughs> And scroll back down. Do, do, do. So we reversed any cables that are incorrectly connected. Uh, in rail network settings, the DCE which sets the clock rate is typically a CSU DSU. Okay. Examine the addressing table to match each router part with the correct telco part. Okay. So we've already done that with the dot twenty nine. Um, from the telco to the router 4 so to 
can make that a little bit easier we'll just jump on prefaces show part labels it's a bit of the block B. I can't move the devices so it's going to be a bit tell you what take that off and we'll do it from 17 should be Put that one on. 17 should be zero zero. That's right. To 18 of root of one, which is zero zero. So that's right. This should be zero zero one to 22 to zero zero one. So that's wrong. So we need to change that. Zero zero one to zero zero one. Okay. Twenty five should be zero one zero to zero zero zero. Zero one zero to just double check that root of three. Zero zero zero. So that's correct. So then we'll see another problem with that interface is it's still down. We know that root of 4 interface is correct because we've sorted that out. So we've done that. Uh, diagnose and repair parts that are shut down. Show a brief interface summary of each router. We ensure that all of the parts that are, should be working are not administratively down. Enable the appropriate parts that are administratively down. So that's probably going to be router free to telco. So we'll just jump on telco first. Join the fish. Keep us. Zero zero one zero. Down on protocol, did that down disabled? Okay, uh, sorry about that one. Uh, Administratively shut down, so we need to. Enable that interface. There we go, so that's sorted now. So if we just refer back to Telco, that should be up, up. <laughs> yep, there we go, so that's fine now. Do, 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 do. All of the DC cables should be connected to Telco. Show the running config of Telco to verify that clock rate has been set on in each interface. We already know that because I've already checked that. However, some of them are different. <coughs> set the clock rate of any serial interfaces that require it. Okay. Does it give you a clock rate at the top? No. Okay. We'll just do a show run. So we've all got clock crates on. Yeah. Yeah. 
just do a so that clock rate on that's got PPP encapsulation on <coughs> as well. So referring to my paper or cardboard. Do, 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 do. So So two thousand <coughs> zero zero is not in use. Or zero zero zero. We'll just check this clock rate. So root of three is connected to zero one zero. Two zero zero So that doesn't have a clock rate um root of three no clock rate just taking notes with all these for now and then we'll jump on to root two So we have root two zero zero one connecting to zero zero one. That's uh, zero zero one. <coughs> so there's no clock rate right on root two. Okay, last but not least, root of one. And root of one is connected to zero, 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 which has no clock rate. Okay, so all of the serial interfaces, uh, no, we're, we're on step one, well, it was on here. All of the DCE cables should be connected to Telco, they are now. So the running config of Telco, we did that to verify that clock rate has been set on in each interface. Yeah, clock rate is set on each interface. Set the clock rate of any serial interfaces that require it. Okay. And the DCE equipment. Mm. So it don't say nothing there about the DTE ends. So we'll just move on for now. So we'll examine the encapsulation on DCE equipment. All of the serial interfaces should be using HDLC as the encapsulation type. Examine the protocol setting on setting of the serial interfaces. Okay. So we'll do that now. We'll start with zero zero zero. And we are using HDLC, which is good. So we'll move on to 001, which is using HDLC. Uh, 
zero one zero. Do 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 HDLC. And last but not least, zero one one HDLC. That is set otherwise. So I'm guessing, right? Okay. Uh, show that they are incorrect. Okay. So what we'll do is change the encapsulation. We'll go ahead. Obviously, encapsulation on each end needs to be the same. So we'll go through route one to four. So show interface. Serial zero 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 HDLC good what in the face is that zero zero one HDLC I think it was the last one that had PPP. Zero, zero, zero. HDLC. Zero, zero, one. PPP. There we go. We need to change that in the first serial zero zero one. Um, no encapsulation PPP. So it should have changed it back now to HDLC by default. So we'll just verify that. There we go. Encapsulation HDLC. Which is good. It's also bumped our little score up down there at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the cock rates on these ones and see if we can bump the score up. So, we'll do. Do, 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 do. T in the first zero, 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 I believe it is. Clock rate is, uh, I think it was, should be here somewhere. Um, not there, sorry. We'll just do a, let's do a show controllers. think it was, I'll tell you what, conf t, clock rate, uh, 200, I think that was it, let me just, Verify something. Give me a second. I just want to have a look on the results. Hmm. Don't say that. That's good. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do. We'll leave that for now because, like I said, it did say it mentioned the DC interfaces. So we'll move on and we'll verify the IP address in. Show a brief interface summary in each route. We'll check the IP addresses against the addressing table and ensure. That everything's correct, basically. 
So we'll have a look at that. We'll start with Telco. And we have Sixty-four, one hundred, thirty-four, seventeen, thirty-four, twenty-one, thirty-four, twenty-nine, um, forward slash thirty. Okay. Uh, zero one forward slash thirty. Zero one uh, zero forward slash thirty. And zero one one forward slash thirty. These route is down at the bottom. Zero zero sixty four one hundred thirty four seventeen. So that's wrong. It should be eighteen. So we'll change that now. Just jump back on the. In fact, we'll go back on the interface because I shouldn't have set that clock rate. Because it only applies to DC, as it says there. <coughs> and I believe that is the lab complete. Looking at the completion tab at the bottom. But what we'll do is we'll just complete the lab by going through and verifying the IP addresses so we have on router 2 0001 64 Serial zero 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 on route of three sixty four one hundred thirty four twenty six, which is there. That's correct. And last but not least, the IP in the first brief. We have on serial zero zero one on route of four sixty four one hundred thirty four thirty. So we know that all that is correct and we will test connectivity now. Verify connectivity between our routers. Okay. So what we'll do we'll start with Telco in fact. And we'll send a ping to sixty four one hundred thirty four dot eighteen. Which is root one, correct. And to twenty two, to root two, and to twenty six, correct. Which is root three. Then to root four, which is cool. So we verify connectivity. Everything works, and that's it for that lab. Thank you for watching.